Mother left her fan before she went away. She must have felt torn between her son and husband. But this iron ball, it just won't stop. Now that you are here, help me drive it away, and I'll let the fan do its work. Hey, Fox, how can you be sure it's even real? Rest assured, Mother taught me this spell. Only the real fan will answer it. The bull sounds weak, probably on his last legs. Guess I have to trust you once. I'll get down there and stop the ball and let you do your work. skin will protect him. Come on, let's save Father first.
my king. He treated me well. To die for him, I would not regret it. But I failed, brother. Failing his mission is what I regret. My king must have done something reckless for that dumb boy. The truth of her wager lies beyond that door. <laughs> that cast cart was no match for me. I, or, I went easy on it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a good lad you are, but remember, uh, don't be persuaded. Stay true.
wicked lad. Mm. Our Lady Arthur, to guard this place, not to check another face. Tell whoever breaks in was the order. For your word! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
this child be born, but he never knew my struggles. <sighs> How can we but follow the Master's word? Rakshasi, you know it was he who made you drink from the river of childbearing. Shut it. You shall never speak of it. The king knows why I had to drink it. But I haven't glimpsed him ever since then. He made it another reason for his absence. Rakshasi, your husband shirks a dishonor this way. He granted you this cave with his Mount Bishwe beast as its sentinel. He's compromised enough for the sake of our master. You will seal your lips on this. Our family would be doomed if anyone knew the truth behind this child. Fear not. Master bids me aid you in secret. You and the bull, you will rear this child to manhood. And when the boy comes of age, well, on that day, he will be living proof of the dark deeds of Mount Lingshan.
Father, I've brought him here. It's the destined one. Brother is not around. You can hand it over to him now. Brother will surely give up on his plan once it's returned. And then we will be a family again. You mischievous monkey. You dare to push your luck, but always have a way out. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the Destined One here to save you! I may be unwell, but I am not blind. You are not my daughter. How can you say that to me? I went through flames to find the Destined One for you. For you, Father, don't you see? out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. That can wait. Spin! Spin a blade! 
sun is defeated, but not vanquished. I am afraid he'll rise again soon. was his only offer after all. No wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <gasps> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf. Is my kind destined for external? 
abomination. A monkey born through a living stone can never understand my pain. Still holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! My king. I'm sorry for my lateness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most Tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plantain fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames, I shan't stray. Fain was my flame for revenge destined to stray. Their delight lies in our submission, kneeling and begging.
have atoned through deeds, Black Bear. Take this pair of eyes. You've served the righteous cause, Yellow Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered anew, Yellow Rat. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships on the island. Go with the town. And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. drink from the river of childbearing, to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're of truth. You knew who I was from the start. Why did you choose to be their lapdog? I never wanted to sever our ties. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic. And let me avenge my people. My king! Let the monkey have my fan! And there will be no trouble! Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. Find a master and serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake too! <laughs> <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox squire. <laughs>
Yakshas are the mightiest of the eight legions, after all. Be your body hard as metal, meeting death in scores is inevitable. Yet, why did you endure the fish and those carts just as poorly? <laughs> you rush like wind with a clouded mind. It's your desires that shape what you see. Had your mind been less unsettled, would you still have fallen for that child's play? Haste oft blinds while patience illumines. Next time, can you still fulfill as Wukong without budget? To subdue the Bull King, the Jade Emperor issued an edict. Nerja, with the incinerating wheels, the Gwai slaying sword and the coiling tether, and his father with the sealing pagoda and the revealing glass. Combining their strengths, they mustered a host of immortals who fought the Bull King and narrowly defeated him. Amid Wukong's rampage through the court, he toppled Lord Lao's pill furnace. A few bricks bearing remnant flames fell here and became the Flaming Mountains. Lord Lao blamed the furnace-tending boy for his negligence and banished him to become the keeper of this place. Before the journey, Wukong lived free and easy. He wandered the lands and befriended the mighty. He had six sworn brothers, the Bull King among them. The monkey and the bull both called themselves great sages. They were two of a kind. As for their parting of ways and hard-fought strife, those are tales for another time. As the Bull King collapsed, he cast a glance behind, as if catching a glimpse of his deepest fear. The red boy coming to claim his life with the five elemental carts and the valiant six. He wished this day would never come, yet also longed for its swift arrival. That was Princess Fairfox of Mount Gile. Graced with great wealth, the princess revered the Bull King's immense power. She gladly wed him, despite the ill-suited match. The two shared some joyous days together. Until the monk and his disciples came, and Pagia slew the princess. Stories tell that the two bore a daughter, though her fate is unknown.
We're getting home, son. Not getting all worked up. Oh. That old monkey's going to be at the mountain top no matter what. We don't have to rush. Uh, we've gathered the five relics, just as he said. All we need now is the sixth one he has. <laughs> Curse these wretches. Hey, you see? I knew there was something that old fool hadn't told us. Otherwise, no one up above would bother to ruin this place yet again. Yeah, they're coming for you, no doubt. Uh, I can't bear it. I simply can't. Well, cut your life! 
again I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <laughs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again. led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand.
Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? 